Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, the external version that works with Nexus mods, and it also now works with the new Mod Manager that was brought in with Patch 7 of Baldur's Gate 3. So this is actually very easy to do, and I'll be taking you through the full guide and how to do this. So the first thing we need to do is get the external Mod Manager. So this is really as simple as going on to Google here and just typing the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. There's going to be a GitHub link link here. I'm not really the best with GitHub, but it's actually extremely easy and takes you through kind of the steps of what you need to do. So you can see here a bunch of files here. Just ignore all that. So it has the setup here. So there's a couple things that you need to do first. So once you get to this web page, there's the Net Frameworks 4.7.2 that you need to download, as well as the Net 7.0.13. So download both of these, and it's just going to take you to a link that'll update this for you. So pretty straightforward there. That is really the most difficult part of this, because next we're just going to go grab the latest release, and this will take you to a download. Now it says here it's a portable, so extract it to a non-protected portal. So Port folder so don't extract it to your program files pretty straightforward what what i did is i just threw it into my documents it works well there but you can really put it wherever you find works best so when you have that done you're just going to go into wherever you you've you want to extract it first so you're going to go into your downloads and you, you're going to have that there so you just go ahead extract all and then it's going to give you the uh, Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. I already have mine extracted. And then I put it into my Documents folder. So once we're in here, you're going to see these files here. So it's really straightforward. Uh, it does walk you through it there, but you just have to go in and double click on the Mod Manager itself. It's loading on my other screen here, but here is the Mod Manager itself. You can see I got like 90 different mods already installed in here, but it's going to read the mods that you get from the Mod Manager itself in Baldur's Gate 3. So if you've already used some mods, don't worry. It actually Actually is extremely compatible with those and you can move around the mod, mod load order to make sure that this all works properly so once you're in here it actually has some lists so you do have to go to the um, you have to make sure that you are in your current mod load order make sure you're in your public profile so this profile here just means like when you go into your save files for Baldur's Gate 3 there's public and there's debug make sure that this is set to public and not on the debug one the mod load order, just current there and campaign. Make sure this does say main, so it's all important to have that all there. There are a couple shortcuts to be able to jump right into Baldur's Gate 3 quickly here. And there's a few things that we have to do once we're in here, but you do have to make sure that your settings preferences are set up correctly. So you just go here, open preferences, and you're going to see where you have your Baldur's Gate 3. It should automatically come here, but if not, you do have to find your Baldur's Gate 3 um, data tab there. And then the uh, Baldur's Gate 3, the uh, the application itself. So if this, this typically is going to work for most people. If it doesn't, leave a comment. I can try to walk you through it. But for the most part, this is going to all come in naturally itself. Um, if you have the script extender, it's going to have another tab there for that. So uh, you just have to organize, as it says here, make sure you're on the public tab there. And that's really it from here. But uh, a few important tips I'll just go over here while I got this loaded up. So make sure you don't have any subfolders. It's just the app data, Larian Studios, Baldur's Gate 3 mods. Uh, so if you don't know how to get to your to that, it's actually just in here. So you can go best to home. Um, it's under your users, app data, local. So yeah, to get there, you can go to your, your user file here. There may not be an app data file folder there, but you can actually just type it in here and it should appear there, and then this will take you to the local. And then we're gonna go down to the Larian Studios. So you just scroll down till you find Larian Studios, Baldur's Gate 3, and then the mods folder there should have all your packs. So this is where they are going. This is where all the mods are gonna end up going to. So once you have this working, it's going to load them in correctly. So this is just a little backup. You wanna make sure that there's no extra subfolders there. So that's what this step here means. Ensure the game path is correct in the game settings. So I went over that previously. And uh, that's where all the various pack files and pack files are actually the mod files themselves. So uh, with this as well, make sure you have the campaign selected as main. So that's right here on the mod manager itself. Make sure that's main. Um, and then if the settings were set when loading into the game, that means one or more of your mods are encountering an error. So um, this may refresh that as well. So you may have to go through some previous steps here, but this shouldn't really cause you any issues. But again, any issues, leave a comment. So that's all the, the steps for that. But now is actually getting into modding Baldur's Gate 3. So this is pretty straightforward. Now, there are some changes that came with Patch 7. Uh, most notably, the mod fixer is now built into the game. So previously, we would have to download and install this. So if you see any mods that require this, you don't actually require using this anymore. This is already built into the game. 
And for any of the other mods, really, you want to be checking when they're last updated. So see here the 5e spells was not updated after September 5th, whenever the mod manager got updated. But different ones, some of them will work, some of them won't work. Some of them are built into the game, so like the Imp UI is already built into the game, so you don't have to download and install it from here, but a lot of mods require this one here. Uh, things like Tab's Hair Salon, you can see here, hasn't been updated, but it works. So typically, mods that don't impact the UI won't get destroyed by the upgraded patch. So you can try it. If it doesn't work, they might not be updated for patch 7 yet, but for the most part, we got things like the native camera tweaks working, Vemperin's hair, the heads are working, uh, native mod loader. There's a bunch of these that are, are updated, but what we want to do is find a mod that we want to find and download. So I just pulled up one here. So this is the um, Echo Knight Fighter subclass, and I'll take you through a full way and how to download it. So we're just going to go here. I would not recommend using the, uh, the manual download there. This one does require some extra ones, so I guess I won't use this, but I have a backup here. Some of them require extra mods in order to work, so you will have to download these. Uh, so this one, I have all these downloaded, so we just go. This is a Harlequin class mod, so we're just going to go with the slow download. You're going to see this is the zip file here. It's honestly pretty straightforward. You're just going to go through the download, wait for that to download, and then you'll go into your downloads folder and uh, find that there. And we're just going to go extract all, similar to what we did with the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. Just hit enter. And then you have this here. It's actually really easy in order to mod this. So I'm just going to go over this slowly. But you're going to find a, a pack file. And there's the info.json file. You're actually just going to take this the, the patch file. You're going to drag and drop it into the mod manager itself. Now, some of them do require things like, let me find it here, the compatibility framework. So this actually has to come lower in your load order than other mods if you're using classes. So we're going to drag this one down, bringing it below the Harlequin class there. And at the very top, you need the community library. So this should always be the first in the load order as this is going to allow us to load in some of these subclasses. And then the final one should be the compatibility framework. So there's not too much importance in some of the load orders. Baldur's Gate 3, the built-in mods that are in Baldur's Gate 3 itself doesn't require you to go through any of this, but just make sure compatibility framework, once you download and install that one, is at the bottom, and make sure that you have the community library up at the top. So once you have that done, we're just going to see this little button here. It's save. You're just going to save this, and then you're going to go and export this to the file. So this exports, exports the load order into the game file itself. So you'll just press that there, and then we can load up our Baldur's Gate 3. And it should work perfectly after this. So it's really as simple like as dragging in that pack file, making sure that you have your mod load order correct. So I recommend just putting the compatibility framework at the very bottom. It typically works best doing it that way. So you can go about that. Make sure that you got the community library up at the top and your mod class is in between. So I got a ton of different ones here, but it all works pretty smoothly to ensure that things are going correctly. But uh yeah, I'll show you what this looks like now in Baldur's Gate 3 itself. And I've loaded into Baldur's Gate 3 here now. And if we scroll down in the classes, you can see that we now have the Harlequin class here. So this worked out pretty easily and straightforward. You really, all you got to do is just drag and drop and it should work as simple as that. So we got ourselves that sub or that new class all loaded into the game and it works pretty straightforward. So again, it's really just as simple as getting that mod load order correct and I talked about some of the ones for classes, but most of them don't really require a mod load order, so you can just put them in any order possible. That really sits, suits well for you, but you do need to have the uh, compatibility framework at the bottom, as well as community library up at the top, and your classes in between, and it should work smoothly. So you can see there, we got a ton of different subclasses. Some of them won't have icons, uh, some of them will. It's just really up to the mod creator if they've used them or not, but uh, yeah, just wanted to take you through a quick guide on how to do that because I've been getting a lot of questions on how to mod Baldur's Gate 3 using the mod manager through Nexus Mods. So there it is. That is the quickest and easiest way to do it. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll be as quick as possible answering back to them. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.